Hello, we're here today with the uh, Pop Voice um, lavalier microphone. It's uh, got an 18-foot reach. I believe that's an extension cord, and it comes with two labs. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I will put a uh, link down in the uh, description of this video. You can get it on Amazon. It's $21.99, and it's a pretty good uh, value, especially if you're a beginner or something like that. We'll go ahead and do a complete unboxing here. We can catch part of this on the overhead camera. And the first thing you'll notice, I have opened this already just to kind of peek at it, but it comes with a uh, black, uh, I believe it's like a canvas material case. And you'll open that up and immediately there is one of your mics. It does come with the uh, mic clips. First thing you'll notice is the extension cable. It's a uh, like a double stereo um, eighth inch, um, pretty similar to a headphone extension cable, only there's an extra contact. So make sure you do notice that. It has four contact points instead of the three like you do on a, uh, a stereo uh, headphone extension cable. So that's in there. And this is probably, you know, this is a uh, second one for the second mic. So you do have those accessories for both mics. So keep that in mind. Now this is a uh, simple Y cable for those. And again, it's got the uh, four contact points on there. Um, it's a uh, contact sleeve, contact sleeve, contact. Anyhow, you kind of get the picture. We can get that on the uh, overhead camera where you see all four contact points and the sleeves. Now it does also come with a pair of, uh, or is it just one? No, that it, it just comes with uh, one of these um, wind covers here. So there's that. We'll just set that over there. Get this a little more organized. Okay, and let's go ahead and grab the actual mics and their cables now. I'm not exactly sure how long each cable is on the lavalier, but those look pretty long. Um, I would definitely, at this rate, um, exclude this from a wireless setup because the length of the cable here, you're, you're really not going to want to wrap that around somebody and that is hardwired into the uh, mic itself, that, all that cable. So we'll look at that more later and you can see each one of those from the overhead camera. Very long hardwired cables right into those. And we have two regular wind covers here. So they do come with uh, wind covers and then wind covers on those as an extra. And then it has, I guess it's like a mini dead cat is what, what you would call one of those. Okay, and it does have an adapter which brings it down from the four contact point to a regular stereo jack there. And that's nice, it comes with extra clips. So even if you're buying this for accessories, it does seem to be like a, a really good value. We will see the actual performance of these and I will do a test. I will be testing it against a Rode Link on a uh, wireless kit because these Rode Links, they do seem to be pretty sensitive of the microphone's actual uh, noise floor to see how it does bring that up. So I will do a comparison there and get an idea of how quiet or how noisy these actually are um, in that road link. They run on two point, I believe it's 2.4 gigahertz. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it's 2.4 gigahertz on the road links. And that that higher uh, frequency seems to really amplify noise if you have it in a mic and be a really good test. Now the regular mic that I'm using right now is the Rode Link wireless. 
and it's used with the uh, stock um, road link mic. So we'll be testing it against that and it should give us a pretty good idea of where our quality lies. And we'll be right back with that in just a moment. Okay, and we're back and you'll see that I do have the road link right here in my hand. I've got my sound mixer um, right here to the left of me. I use a sound devices and it's a Mix Pre 3 Series 2. So it is a pretty high quality sound mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and just be quiet for just a moment to see if you hear um, any kind of noise coming from it. I don't have a whole lot of background ambience, so that shouldn't be a problem. It is pretty quiet. Um, there is in the other room, there is like a small fountain type thing running. So I don't think you can really hear that over here, but take a listen. Here's the uh, noise floor. And this is of the pop voice mic tucked up. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and switch back over. You can see right there, I do have the uh, pop voice, but I've got a uh, road link underneath my shirt here. Now we're back to the road link. So this should give you a pretty good idea of the difference of sound. And like I said, I do use a sound devices mix pre three. So that will give you a really good idea and a clear kind of indication of where the noise floor is on that pop voice. Okay, and to conclude this video, I will say that I didn't hear a whole lot of noise. Um, I didn't check them out real thoroughly. They seem to pick up pretty good. I wouldn't say that they're comparable to, you know, uh, Sennheiser or Rode or something of that nature, but they did okay. The heads of these are pretty big, so I do do take a point away from that, that the heads of these would be nearly impossible if you're using it for a film purpose, especially if you're trying to hide it. Um, it may be okay for some interview situations, um, you know, or something where you just need to clip it onto somebody, you know, TV interview, things like that. But if you're needing it to hide it, the is really really large catch that on the overhead and see how big that thing is so we actually compare that to a road link what I have it's probably more comparable we'll go overhead be comparable to that size and all I have around my road link is I do have a uh, piece of cloth right around the edge of it and it's really no bigger than that. So looking up on the overhead, let's get an idea of how big a difference that is. And I would say out of five stars, I would give this about a four. It does have some noise, not a whole lot, which is nice. The head of them are extremely large, making it nearly impossible for any kind of film use. The ends, these are actually made, I believe, for uh, smartphones and things like that. So once you have to use, I will grab that, you have to use a, an extra piece, an adapter, and we'll get this on overhead and seeing how long this would be your normal plug-in if you had the uh, stereo ignore the four. Um, contact points there's the length on the overhead compared to a normal plug for your uh, lavaliers it's much too big to be hanging off of the end of your wireless systems so it's really not made you know for that you've got all this extra room and that just creates problems so I'd give it about a four out of five um, the value, I'd give it a 5 out of 5 for sure because it comes with so many things. If you paid 22 bucks and you just got it for mainly the accessories, you would still be good at that point. 
I do, however, wish, even if they had to add a dollar to it or two, they would have gave you two of these adapters from the four to three contact point, um, the stereo to the, I guess, double stereo ends. I think you need two of those if you're using these both for an interview at the same time, and that would be my only complaint. And I do want to remind you that we do have some videos coming up uh, later on in the uh, month. We got Bitter coming out, so make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, you found out anything new, or if it helped you out a little bit, give us a like on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.